The morning after, full of regrets, but renewed hopes. Remco Evenepoel, after losing 27 minutes in yesterday's Tourmalet stage, bounced back today in Vuelta España, stage 14. On site, Belagua, the Basque country in Spain. After a day spent in France, we're back in the home country, and it's a new summit finish, never before used in the Vuelta. Remco Evenepoel, stage winner, domination. American Sepp Kuss from Durango, Colorado, remains race leader. It was an aggressive start on the flats in France. Remco Evenepoel showed he was out for redemption after losing so much time yesterday. Attack after attack after attack until finally one would stick and a group would ride free. That was suitable to Jumbo Visma, the Dutch team, which holds the top three positions. Remco Evenepoel and a group of around 15 riders with teammate Matteo Catano, American Sean Quinn from EF Education, Michael Storr, and attention, there's Roman Bardet, the Frenchman from Team DSM, who would be so crucial later on. Remco Evenepoel gets max points over the Horsair climb, edging in closer to the King of the Mountains competition. In the 156 kilometer stage, there were two whore category climbs, a category three climb and the category one climb up to the finish. Bardet and Remco, they rode free off of the top of the climb of the Horsair. They were solo and they wanted to go for the stage win, and especially Remco Evenepoel after yesterday's mishap, misfire that kicked him out of the GC classification battle. Now pay attention on the upcoming second horror category climb, the Puerto de la Rao. It's one of those epic climbs in cycling. It has its history in the 1996 Tour de France. That's where big MIG Miguel Indurain, the Spanish champion, finally cracked. It wouldn't be able to go on to win his sixth Tour de France on a stage that was going to Pamplona, a stage that was designed for him. Well, today, Remco and Bardet, the Belgian and the Frenchman, were going to make the stage their own. The steep, nasty pitches with only a little bit of let up and then the final kicker up to the top. Remco, importantly, taking the maximum points on the top of the two whore category climbs to overtake Jonas Vingago to take the white with blue polka dot mountains jersey at the end of the day in addition to a stage win. They would go down into the valley over a cat three climb facing the final cat one climb up to the Bel Agua, never before used in the Vuelta España. At that point, we knew they had enough time in hand to fight for the stage win. But back on La Rao, what a fight we had back with the GC group because UAE Team Emirates were taking up the pace for the whole day. They were working, working hard to try to do something to the Jumbo Visma domination. They lead the race, Sepp Kuss on top, Primoz Rolich second overall, Jonas Vingago third overall. Jumbo Visma 1-2-3, also Jumbo Visma 1-2-3 on yesterday's Tourmalet stage. It's total domination, even if Remco Evenepoel is out for redemption. Back in the back, UAE trying to shake things up. Ayuso launches a couple of attacks, six kilometers up to the top, five and a half kilometers up to the top. At one moment, it looked like they had caught Sepp Kuss off guard, but in fact, Sepp Kuss seemed to be caught towards the back of the group and caught in some traffic and not able to respond right away. Later on, he was responding perfectly fine to those attacks and finished the day in the GC group. And nothing much would happen after they topped that climb down into the valley for the final kicker up here to the finish line. It was just a matter of what was gonna happen with the duo up front. Storr was chasing at times solo behind with the duo, but the duo had enough time in hand to get the stage win between the two. They would have to decide it. They had about eight minutes back to the GC group. Remco Evenepoel, as we thought would be no match on a normal day to Roman Bardet, but this was the day after the big crack by Remco Evenepoel. We didn't know what was gonna happen, but already he was putting on a show. Four kilometers out, Remco Evenepoel solo up to the finish line, hands in the air, massive victory in his Belgian national championship jersey. What a celebration. Afterwards, he puts on the white and blue polka dot jersey. Mountains classification, stage win, a big day out for Remco Evenepoel. Last night, he shed tears. He spoke with his wife and she reminded him, Remco, ride like the champion you always are. We spoke with the DS yesterday and he said that the team would try to go for stage wins maybe after a few days when Remco had recovered a bit. We didn't think he'd be out for a stage win already the day after. What does this mean for Remco Evenepoel and his chances to win another Grand Tour? He's not going to win this Vuelta España. 
His only Grand Tour that he's ever finished so far was last year's Vuelta España when he won the overall. But we have to admit, his big classification rivals were knocked out or simply did not show up. Primoz Roglic was remounting, coming back on him in the second week, but then he crashed and went home. Remco Evenepoel won the 2022 Vuelta España. Now with this Vuelta España unable to win the classification, the overall, he did bounce back today, but we're still wondering what this means for his chances to win another Grand Tour. And there's Project Tour de France 2024 on the horizon. So there's still a lot of doubts and he acknowledges that. And that's something we're all going to be thinking about as we go into the off season. Sunday, the end of the second of this three chapter drama, a medium mountain stage, but today, Remco Evenepoel redemption and Jumbo Visma domination in the Vuelta España.